G'day, I'm Gray Johnston, Advice, Insight and Marketing Manager at CSPP Fertilisers here in Minganew today for the Minganew Midwest Expo where we're running the inaugural Ask a Farmer segment. We've been at the primary school getting the kids to ask all their burning questions about agriculture. We're going to get answered at the Expo today. Expo. Sophie who's six asked why do you celebrate Expo? Why do I celebrate Expo? Because it's a great day and it's a great event. It's just showing you what's around and it's a social day out too. So everyone can come together and see the trade and the industry together. Yeah. And today, beautiful day. It's sunny, rain last week, hopefully rain next week, so what more do you want? Do farmers work every single day? Zendaya, we don't stop every single day of the year. We're always working. Some of us do, we try not to. No? Yeah, we work every single day of the year, I reckon. <laughs> Me personally, absolutely not. Animal farmers will be working every day. Grain farmers can fit it in with their seasons and their production systems. How old can sheep and cows get and still be useful to the farmers? And how old do you think they can get? What's your guess? I reckon about probably 10 years old, I reckon. Sheep can be about eight and still be useful. Cows, probably 12. Um, sometimes you just you just love them too much and they become your pets and it's hard to get rid of them. How do you choose the particular specialisation of farm, like crop, eggs and dairy? Right, and why are you interested in because around here we only do crops and I've been to Calvary and they have eggs and yeah. You know if you've got very rocky dirt or something you might um, run some livestock or something like that and if you've got some nice you know nice cropping dirt then you, you'll put a crop in so yeah. Often has to do with soil and different rotations um, and how it fits your system. Um, a cow and goat supposed to eat or drink anything in particular when to make their milk good. I'm just wondering. <laughs> well, I have no idea at all because we've got no sheep or no livestock on my farm. I've got a dog and a cat and that's it. <laughs> Lots of green food, so the greener the grass, probably the more milk and the better milk. Uh, maybe water could be a good one. What chemicals do you use on canola and why? Ooh, that's a tricky one. <laughs> Predominantly like Roundup, Roundup Ready, that's what we grow, Roundup Ready canola. We knock off all your radishes and stuff without actually hurting the canola, so it's a pretty special chemical you can use, yeah. Then when the crop gets more advanced, we spray uh, like Prezaros and that for fungicides. Fungicides, herbicides, all that kind of thing, keep the bugs off, keep the, um, the crops going nice. Is it hard to shear rams? I've never shorn a ram, but yeah. They're definitely harder than yous. <laughs> uh, yes, I certainly would not be able to shear a ram. I'd hate to give it a go because they're um, they're very big boys. How heavy can rams get? Um, I'm just going to be making this up. At my nana's farm, she has a ram, and it's the rams are really scary, and I'm kind of wondering how heavy it would be. Ivy, I think they might be able to get up to 80 kilos, maybe to the big ones. I would be guessing, but with their wool, probably 80 plus kilos. Oh, they can get up to 120 kilos. A fully grown ram um, can weigh over 100 kilos. What is the worst disaster that could happen on a farm to crops? Um, a drought. Uh, a fire. <laughs> if a fire starts from lightning or a header and it takes out your crop. A hailstorm is really bad too, because it knocks all the crop over. What is the best crop to grow in this region? I like wheat because it's easier to grow and the yields can be a bit higher. I'm fairly biased, um, it's lupins. For reliability, the best crop would be wheat, but yeah, canola on a good year, so yeah. Wheat, because you need wheat mix in the morning. Some great questions there, kids. Hopefully we got some answers there for you. At CSBP, we've been really proud to support the inaugural Ask a Farmer segment, and we'll catch you at the Minganew Midwest Expo next year. Cheers, bye-bye.